Pizza's been around for many, many years, and nobody's quite figured out the best way to make it. But what makes things easier and better and faster? That's right, Brian. Power tools. I'm still trying to digest everything you said about pizza in the beginning. Power tool. Brian, what are we doing today? Uh, today, we are using some very powered tools to create some very fine pizza. When you're using power tools, it's all faster, it's all better. Better than these manual hands. We That's couldn't so do this with our manual hands, right? Yeah, and also, uh, viewers at home, if you don't know this, we're both very Italian, so this is gonna work out great. I love Italy. We've got a recipe that we're going to follow for once, and it's going to be quick, it's going to be great, and we've got a plethora of tools to help us out along the way. So Brian, right, you uh, would uh, like to join me in Italy? Uh, sure, I love being inside Italy. Justin, do the Italian transition. Ah! And then you make an Italian transition, yeah. whatever that may be. First, main course, the dough. Two and a half cups all <laughs> Main <laughs> course, the dough. <laughs> That's what it says. Combine one cup of flour, instant yeast, sugar, and salt in a large bowl. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> these are mixing bowls, but I don't think they're powerful enough for our power tools. That's so so we won't be using the mixing bowls today. What will we be using? I don't know, because I actually wasn't told before this video started, so. A bucket from AutoZone. Let me wash it. <laughs> <'Cause it's laughs> gross. One cup of flour. Beautiful. Oh, look at the color on that. Good. White as the homeland. Italy. Add olive oil and warm water and use a wooden spoon <laughs> to stir very well. Wait, it's just half cup of water? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> three quarter cup warm water and olive oil. No, hold on. Th That's literally more, what it says. Wasn't there more ingredients than just the flour? <laughs> I think we have to put those in later. It says gradually add today? another one cup of flour. We maybe should have read the mm. recipe. No, start from the beginning. Half cup of flour. No, one cup of flour. One cup of flour. And it says add olive oil and warm water. How much olive oil? Ah, oh, Jesus. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. And then it's probably enough. Three quarter cup warm water. Three quarter cups warm water, Brian. Three quarters of a cup of a warm water, Brian. With a wooden spoon, <laughs> stir well, very well. <laughs> A wooden spoon? Peasants, <laughs> really. Here is our wooden spoon for today. Oh God. <laughs> this will be efficient. Ah, oh, just like Grandmama used to make. Next step. Now we have to gradually add another one cup of flour. Stirring until the dough is forming into a cohesive elastic ball and is beginning to pull away from the sides of the bowl or bucket. What are we doing? Take all the One more cup of flour if it's not pulling away from the sides of the bucket. So, oh, well, just like Nona. <laughs> Some extra it's snot. really good. Really good inside there. Don't worry, that's gonna get sanitized. No. Is this gonna need more water? Um. Ooh, it's really going. That's how you know it's good pizza dough. It starts jamming the power tool. Okay. I think that's, I mean, that's. It looks mixed. That's some dough. That's dough, baby. Next step. Drizzle a separate large clean bowl generously with olive oil and use a pastry brush to brush up the sides of the bowl. What? We'll then, actually use a bowl this time. And we put olive oil in. Olive oil, drizzle it so it's, the sides get all olive oily. Probably, that was, sure, that's a drizzle. And then we have to use our hands to form the dough into a ball. Oh, it is so. Good. Well. <laughs> Well mixed. Yeah. It's real. Oh boy, that is. That's Italy right there, baby. <laughs> oh that's yeah. That's Italy. Come on. There, see? Oh, that's a nice transfer process <laughs> there. <laughs> I think we need more water. Doing. Can you get more water? We've added too much flour. There's not enough adhesion. I got this, by the way. No one yes. else got this. No, it's exfoli. Oh. Oh. Wait, don't. Stop. Hold on. 
have to do this gently. You're really getting it. Okay, I'm getting in there. Uh, I need more flour. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little, a little more. Just a sprinkle. Mm. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Like a Christmas cookie. Okay. Now what? Roll it along the bowl until it's coated in olive oil, and then cover the bowl tightly with plastic wrap and place it in a warm place. Allow the dough to rise for 30 minutes. <laughs> Until doubled in size, do we have 30 minutes? That's fine. What How can mean, we? Do, what do you mean, do we have 30 minutes? We've I got mean, all the time. Time is world. precious because, as many of you know, there was a channel on YouTube a long time ago where time was very precious and then it disappeared. Okay. The holidays are here, folks, and that means it's time to de stress, it's time to relax. You've got a lot going on, so why not ask Santa for a little special gift this year? Introducing the Enigma Wave by Lilo. This one's more than just a sex toy, folks. It's a way of life, a life of love, a life of luxury, and a life of pleasure. The Enigma Wave brings a new triple stimulation body that caters to both erogenous zones. It's got an insertable tail that vibrates and moves, mimicking a finger-like motion. All while that's happening, the sonic waves and gentle pulses stimulate your entire clitoral area. This hot puppy's gonna have you more wet than that Thanksgiving turkey. Why don't you spice it up this holiday season with the Enigma Wave. It offers eight different pleasure modes to explore, full control over each mode's power setting, and is entirely waterproof, so you can take this baby anywhere. The Enigma Wave combines sonic waves and gentle pulses for incredible sensory experience, better than anything you've ever had in your lifetime. For whatever you love, whether it's a gentle, smooth caress, or a vibration so hot and heavy it'll bring the foundation of your life to pieces, Lilo's Enigma is here to pleasure you wherever and whenever you need it. So don't wait, click the link in the description and learn more about Lilo and get yourself an Enigma wave today. Lilo. They'll have you saying, ho, 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 yeah, for the holidays. This is what you want pizza dough to look like. Oh, yeah. That's the sound of good dough. I think we need a little bit more flour, <laughs> to be honest here. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is teamwork. This is real Italian teamwork. This is the Mario Brothers. Chris Pratt, eat your heart out. Chris Pratt ate my ass. Mm. And he yeah. wasn't good at it. And if Chris Pratt comes out and he, and he says, no, that's false, I didn't do that. Mm. Yeah, that's right, you didn't do it well. <laughs> <laughs> a little right. more flour, just a smidge. Just a smidge, Joe. Mm. A little more. Mm. Yeah. Oh, now that's looking like the dough I'm used to seeing in those pizzerias in Italy. In Italy, where we're going. Where we're from, uh, going, and, yeah. And that's from. It. And, and from. The same. And we're from there. So we don't need to put yeast in this? Um, I... Because I'm pretty sure we do. I'm pretty sure there I'm was not, actually other things in the beginning that I'm you said. I'm not seeing anything about yeast. Go is to the, the very thing. beginning. Flour, instant yeast, sugar, and salt. So, I said all those things and I thought that we had done that. <laughs> I said multiple times. And I said and you those watched things me. and you weren't listening. No, incorrect. Ah. I said what goes in the bucket. And I you said, said these things. You, Justin, play no, the tape. You play said, the tape. I asked you what goes in the bucket and you said flour and water. Well, I, there's nothing in here says we can't add those things. Now, by the way, this is just how Italians talk. It's not even a fight. It's okay. Christ. So we need one packet instant yeast mixed okay. in. Yeah, and I told you these no. things, and then you said incorrect. <laughs> That's actually, so good. <laughs> actually, incorrect. Oh, what is wrong with your sugar? It's just kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what's up with it. One and a half. No, no, no. Just do it. Just oh, do oh, it. Oh, just by vibes. You're a chef. One and a half teaspoons of sugar. That's oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one and a half teaspoons, baby. And three quarters teaspoon salt. Brian, if this pizza turns out bad. I'm blaming it wholly on you. Because of my asking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep doing that. Because of yeah, my sure. asking of, is it just 
flour and water, uh, and you yes, said yes. You know, there's two because of us Because you right are now. the one that's <laughs> reading the recipe. But there's two of us who were sent the recipe by our Nona's, God rest their souls. You're the one that's reading the recipe though, on the table. I don't know it's if that's- cool, I was sent the recipe, great, but we, you're the one that's reading the recipe. Yeah, this is you're what he the does. one this is what that's he in does. the car that has the map. This I'm is, driving car, I don't have the map. GPS exists. Right? I'm asking so you to lead me. <sighs> this is probably fine. This is probably fine. You know? It's probably way too much salt. How oh. much salt was supposed to go? Three in quarter here? teaspoon. That was definitely that was <laughs> way more than three quarters of a Listen, teaspoon. Who doesn't like a nice salty pizza pie, baby? So now it's time for this to go improve. All right. Let me grab. Plastic, plastic crap. crap. I think well, this like video is going really crap, well so right, far. Brian? And Brian, I, am I, right? I just want to remind plastic the people crap. Am I right? at home that neurodivergent issues are real Brian, and you should be taking crap. them seriously. This is how two ADHD people that be good? typically communicate. Right, but that doesn't mean it has to be that Brian, way at crap. home. Communication kind of is an important thing. You and your loved ones can work like on together. Plastic. Crap. Thank you. Right. Do we have a recipe for the sauce? Do you have your Nona's sauce recipe? Oh, I've got it memorized and ready to go. Over low heat, mm -hmm. which I mean, this is pretty warm in it's here. Low heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need three cloves of garlic, minced or finely grated. Three cloves of garlic. Let's finely grate those. Okay. Are you using your hands when we have tools that could do this? <laughs> Right you are, Harry. I think that this one oh. would be the best one for the job, Brian. Now put your glasses on for oh, protection. Yeah. I think first, just kind of get the basic chop down. Okay. Oh, I remember. That actually did most of it. Yeah. That kind of did all of it. That kind of did all of it. How many of these? We need three cloves. Oh, wow. I remember Good. those cool Italian nights where Nona was using a giant mallet to slam the garlic into pulverized little pieces. Three quarter cup of chopped onions. Brian, it's very important that we protect ourselves, okay? So true. So you have your glasses. I got this, which connects to a hard hat. Didn't realize that the hard hat didn't come with it. So, just like Nona used to do. Oh, that's We're going so true. to improvise. Now, just do it around my hat here. Oh, like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get right into the hair? Uh, please, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is, Definitely OSHA safety mm -hmm. regulations being met. Yeah, now do some wrapping. Here, I can turn for you. Yeah. Oh. This is pretty sturdy. Is that already done? Yeah. All right, All cutting right. onion time. All right. I should put gloves on. Okay, now it's very important. What it happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Here we are. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely doing it. <laughs> okay. Good. It's probably a lot. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're doing it. I think if we do another one of these. Oh we yeah. Can now get... it should be the right size to break down. <laughs> Yeah, just that's good. Perfect. Three quarters of a cup. Uh huh. Of it's very onion. precise. Cover the pot and cook for five minutes. Okay. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Chopped fresh tomatoes, four cups. Five to six medium tomatoes. <laughs> just simply unsafe. How many? What am I doing? <laughs> five to six tomatoes should make a good four cups of freshly chopped tomatoes. Now this is authentic. That's all I gotta say. How many? <laughs> These aren't as chopped as I would like them to be, Brian. Because, Brian, we didn't drill any pilot holes in the tomatoes. So, I think, Brian, if if you will, if you could just drill some pilot holes in these tomatoes oh, for yeah. me, Absolutely. I think that would be really important. Nice pilot hole. Oh. Yeah, just get a few of them. So oh, that yeah. I, I don't wanna split it. Oh, yeah. That's normal. Yeah, just like Nona used to do. Her special sauce. <laughs> See how much better that chops? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you just drop it on. 
perfect. Pretty good. Yeah. Do it a couple more times. Oh, yeah. If, if I can... did that way too close to your fucking fingers. That's all right. I got 10 of them. Good. A couple more. Oh. Nice. N Nona, guide our hands. All right, now we can go to bashing. <laughs> and that's why it's also important to keep your face mask on for any accidental splashage. How many do we need? Uh, it says five to six. So how many did you put in there? I don't know. Oh. Enough. All right. Sounds like Nona in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking swell, but I think it needs to be broken down more. I think what you're about to do is probably the equivalent of the 30 minutes of simmering the instructions asked for. Well, because where does heat come from, Brian? We all know this. It comes from God. And friction, oh. right? So if we get enough friction going in here, it will most likely cook up the tomatoes. Good! How's it looking down there, Brian? You know, I know I would be proud. All right, going into attack mode. What's a good pizza without a little bit of a topic? We're going classic mode today, Brian. No sicko mode for us, am I right, Zoomers? <laughs> Man, Brian, I wish I could get this open. Well, if only you had a tool to do that. I just want to take this moment to say there's <laughs> other ways to do this, but, uh, you know, we really are sticklers for tradition. We really are, Brian. Hey! How many slices would you like, Brian? You know, as many as you can stomach. Mm. Thinking this isn't powerful enough, Brian. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, heat will sterilize that. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's looking good. I've thought of something brilliant, Brian. Oh. oh, of course. How could we have forgotten the classic technique? <laughs> there it is. Mm. Oh, I see. The centrifugal force will pull the sausage apart. It's a much more gentle way to put these pieces of sausage out of their misery. Well, you got that for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking great. Oh, did it rise? It kind of looks the same as it was before. No, mostly bigger. <laughs> this is really where mm. this comes into play. Yeah. Would you like? To? Oh, absolutely. Here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now make sure you get it real flat, Brian. Oh yeah, it's getting real flat. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, I think we want it real flat. Oh, that is mamma mia, am I right? Now make sure you don't go through the whole dough. Right. You know, we want it to right. stay intact, but look how round this is. Look how evenly distributed this dough is coming out. This is looking wonderful. Now halfway through you do wanna give it a good old flip and go again. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that, you wouldn't even be able to tell we made that 30 minutes ago. This looks grand, Brian. Yeah. Really, good. really good. It's time to spread our sauce. Yeah. Now we're gonna take it and just let this all kind of come out. Yeah, all oh, come out. A nice, oh. thick, creamy so, sauce. So glad we made so much. Get it on in there. Well, and, Nona's yeah. pie was known to oh. be really thick. Oh, I just got that. Yeah, no, that's Really good. delicious. Really sloppy pie. And she was a sloppy woman. For the final portion, Brian, if you oh. please could transfer the pizza oh, boy. onto the tray. Oh, Brian, boy. What oh. are you doing? Oh, okay, yeah. pull that out. <laughs> nice. Perfect, perfect transfer. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, Brian, we forgot the cheese. How could we? We are so oh, stupid. Oh, that's okay, because in Italy, you actually put the cheese on top of everything else. Oh, perfect. Non-dairy as well, just for me. Just for you, Brian. Now it's time to cook the pizza. Now, 
Ovens are overrated and underpowered. And today we're using power tools, okay? So we will be making this pizza with but a little bit of a flame. This is not a good idea. Oh. Whoa. That's Italy, baby. Brian, our pizza is done. Wow, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. We've done it. We've created the pizza, just like grandmother used to do. But now it's time for our final thing. So I'll cut one side, you oh, cut yeah. the other. I'll cut you a piece. Oh, thank you. I'll cut you a piece. Mm. Oh, that is just as wet as Nona liked it back in the day. Mmm. Good. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> so sloppy. Mm. Just like Nona. Come on, Nona. <laughs> Come on, Nona. Come on. You're gripping on there. Let me just adjust this. Oh. Oh, beautiful. You'd like me to cut you a piece as well? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, here's yours. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you one from this side. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, looks like a nice Italian man-sized slice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can't wait until <laughs> we can dig in. Just, <laughs> Just can't so wait. Perfectly cooked all the way through. <laughs> oh, here, let me get you that sausage. Oh, nice big it's piece really of sausage. Nice and... Oh, Brian. To Nona. To mm -hmm. Nona. And to Italy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is. Such that... a perfection. Mmm. Wow. I'd say. The taste of Italy. Jokes aside. Kind of, you know. It's not that bad. I've had worse pizza, which is insane to say. The sauce is actually kind of good. <laughs> it's got a really good spicy, or not spicy, it's saltiness. I mean, it's all that salt I added to the dough. Mm -hmm. The sausage is cooked relatively. There's ingredients. Mm -hmm. Some of these bites, man, it's just so... Italy. Yeah, I just don't even want to swallow them sometimes. I don't mind it. You know? And maybe it's because I don't have any standards or self-respect. Mm. But I don't mind it. Does it look bad? I mean, looks on everything. And here's the greatest part. You like it so much, and there's so much more left for you. Well, Brian, <laughs> I, don't, I, couldn't, I wouldn't want to impose or something. Look at the felicity of it. Give it a wave. <laughs> Give it a twirl. Mm, nice and solid. <laughs> Sturdy like an Italian. Great job, chef. We really cooked. We really cooked today. Everyone at home, I hope you enjoyed us making our big old pizza pie just like our Nona used to make mm -hmm. back in the day in Italy. Mm -hmm. You know, we expanded a modern tradition and <clears throat> I believe we went above and beyond with the power tools. I don't think they inhibited us at all. I no. think that they made us go further, farther, faster. Brian, if people wanted to find you on the internet, Oh God, I hope they don't. Hi, I'm I'm Gerbeagley. G-I-R-B-E-A. Well, Justin's gonna put this in the video. YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and who else cares? Where are they gonna find you, Ethan? Right here, unfortunately. That sucks for you. Listen, but I... not as much as this! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, that could be where it ends. 